So, now we will see what are the things which is or I can say what are the conditions which is required for the combustion. So, let me write the heading conditions ok conditions required for combustion. So, children what are the conditions which are required for anything to burn ok. So, children first of all if anything is burning ok that means that substance is required which is burning ok that means a substance which is burning. So, that combustible substance that substance is required which undergoes burning ok and like what can be the second condition what is required. So, when a substance is burning I told many a times like it is combining with what oxygen. So, definitely children when a substance is combining with oxygen means what it is very important you know, like it cannot if it is not reacting with oxygen that means it is it can it cannot burn ok. So, what can be the second condition? The second condition can be the presence of the supporter. Now, what supporter? Which supporter or what can be the thing which helps combustion? So, obviously, first is what the combustible substance ok which is burning. Second is what the supporter and what is a supporter? Obviously, oxygen gas is a supporter ok. Now, third point is what? Third point is ignition temperature ok. So, let us talk about all these three and we will discuss one by one ok. So, what we are talking about? We are talking about conditions which are required for the combustion. So, first one is what? Presence of presence of combustible substance ok presence of combustible substance. So, now children it is a very simple thing if you do not have cotton and if I say if I ask you to burn cotton how can you burn it when you do not have it ok. So, first thing is what? a substance which burns that is required for the combustion ok. Now, second is supporter ok supporter of combustion supporter of combustion means what is required children oxygen is required ok for burning oxygen is required. Now, what is the third very important part which is very very important as these two are important without which a substance cannot burn. So, what is that uh, thing children? It is ignition temperature. ok it is ignition temperature ok. Now, what is ignition temperature? Ok, how can we talk like what is ignition temperature? So, children that lowest temperature ok that lowest temperature at which any substance undergoes like it catches fire ok or it undergoes combustion it starts uh, it starts burning ok. So, what is ignition temperature children that particular temperature ok that lowest temperature at which the substance starts burning ok. Now, I will give you one example now suppose if I ask you to burn coal ok 
if you have to burn coal and you have to burn LPG. Okay, when I am saying burn LPG means I am not saying you to take a cylinder and put a match stick. When you lit the gas, okay. So, as soon as you switch on the gas and you lit the light, you lit the gas. So, what happens? It starts burning. You can see the light and the heat. You can, you can uh, understand, you can feel, okay. But if I give you in the second case, if I talk, if I ask you to burn coal, do you think it will be as easier as uh, to burn LPG? Will coal burn as immediately as uh, soon uh, as the uh, LPG? No, it would not happen children. Why? Because every substance has their own ignition temperature. Okay, every substance has their own temperature and every substance ha uh, has their like what? It is different. The ignition temperature is different. So, for every substance the ignition temperature is different. So, until and unless the substance comes to that level, okay, until and unless the substance is given that amount of temperature, it will not start burning, okay, it will not start burning. See, say for example, you have to go to some uh, other country, okay, and if you try to give the ticket of the train which runs in India no? or you try to uh, sit uh, up in a plane which do not go to you know a domestic fly if you catch. So, will it go over there? So, until unless you have a proper flight, a proper way, how you are going to reach over there? Okay. So, until unless a proper, okay, a proper temperature is given, it is brought the burning substance is brought to that particular temperature, how is it going to burn? Okay. Say, suppose you have taken two examples, you have taken paper, you have taken, see, paper, okay. you have taken coal and you have taken LPG. Okay. Now, you have to burn these substances. So, now you all can, there is no need for me even to explain this. You all can understand that which thing is going to burn first. Okay. So, the thing which is going to catch fire first, the thing which is going to burn first has the lowest ignition temperature. That means, if the temperature is, if the substance has low ignition temperature, okay. If a substance has low ignition temperature, that means that substance is going to burn what at the faster rate or that substance will burn first. Okay. And one more thing children, like, like suppose any substance has XYZ temperature of burning, okay. say suppose 214, okay. the ignition temperature of any substance XYZ. So, if this temperature is given to that particular substance, okay, to that particular substance, so what will happen? Once when it reaches to this temperature, it will start burning, but then there is no need for next time to give this temperature. Why? Because when the substance burns, automatically lot of heat is produced which maintains the ignition temperature, okay, which maintains the ignition temperature. That means, only once the ignition temperature has to be given and when once the substance reaches to the ignition temperature, then what will happen? Automatically, the ignition temperature will be what? Available. Why? Because when the substance get ignition temperature, it will burn and on burning, what will happen? Lot of heat will be produced and that heat will be sufficient to keep that substance burning. Okay. Again, I will talk about ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is that lowest temperature. Okay. It is what? It is that lowest temperature. Lowest temperature. that lowest temperature at which at which the substance is 
starts burning. Is the ignition temperature is the ignition temperature of that particular substance ok that particular substance. So, what I have written that lowest temperature at which the substance starts burning ok. That minimum temperature that temperature which is at least required for a substance to burn ok. So, just try to understand when I talk about the burning I have given you three examples ok. So, I gave it example of the domestic flight also. So, if you are traveling if you want to go out of India you cannot take domestic means domestic flight in the sense which kind of flight I am talking about the flight which uh, is responsible to carry or to move in your own country itself ok. I am talking in that way. So, if you travel if you uh, you are there in that kind of uh, the vehicles ok or that kind of thing which is not giving providing the particular facility. So, how we are going to move there in the same way children when I am talking about three substances paper, coal and LPG. So, when particular temperature is given to that substance. So, what will happen if it reaches to ignition temperature ok. If the temperature is sufficient to produce the uh, fire that means that temperature is the ignition temperature. So, again what I can write here if suppose this is a point A for this. So, what else can I write over here in the point B that the temperature this is what the minimum temperature at which the substance burns. So, if the temperature is low ok if the ignition temperature is low that means what the substance catches fire more easily. So, if the ignition temperature is low that means it will catch fire very easily ok. See I if I give you an example of three substances x y and z ok. If the ignition temperature is here 36 here it is 21240 and here suppose 416. These these are the temperature which are like it is a minimum requirement of x to come on the 36 degree Celsius to burn. It is a minimum requirement of y to come on 240 degree Celsius ok to burn. If the substance has to burn that means it has to brought up till the substance. If the substance z has to burn it has to come which uh, which temperature minimum temperature is 406 ok. So, until unless this substance reaches to this uh, ignition temperature this temperature these substance will not catch fire they, these substance will not undergo combustion these substance will not burn ok. So, these temperature ok are what ignition temperature the minimum temperature which is required for a substance to burn ok. If the substance is having low ignition temperature now here please look here like x y z ok. So, x is what 36 degree Celsius 240 degree Celsius. So, which one is having lowest ignition temperature obviously the x the first one which is having 36 degree Celsius that means it is the lowest temperature among this three 
So obviously this X substance is going to catch fire early. It is going to burn very fast. It is going to the, the it will be the first one to catch fire among this three. Okay. So I have written if the ignition temperature is low that means it will catch fire very easily. Okay. So for burning of any substance what is required children? It is very very important that the substance reaches to that temperature where it, it can catch fire and that temperature that minimum temperature which is required for a substance to catch fire that lowest temperature which is required for a substance to catch fire is known as what ignition temperature ok. So now we know three things ok. Now we know three things what are the three things which is required for a substance to burn ok. What are the three things which is which are required for a substance to catch fire. Suppose if I write fire inside, so what can be the three things which is required? First, the presence of the substance, okay, presence of combustible substance. So, what is this presence of that combustible substance, okay? Now, second, this one is the first one. Second, what is required, children? Supporter is required, okay. Now what is our supporter? O2 is the supporter. Without oxygen no substance can burn. Third thing which is very important is what? Ignition temperature. Okay. Ignition temperature is a third thing which is required for a substance to catch fire. Okay. So what I am talking about? What are the three pillars? What are the three things which are required for a substance to catch fire? So first is combustible substance. That substance is required children. Until unless you have particular substance, how will you burn? Okay. So that substance is required. Second is what? Supporter. And third one is what? Ignition temperature. That means it is necessary to reach to that temperature where a substance can catch fire. So these three things are there which is the basic need requirement of a substance to catch fire. If even one is missing, okay, even if one is missing, can you think a substance can catch fire? Just try. If you remove combustible substance, can you think the substance uh, can uh, catch fire when substance is not only there what will catch fire if you remove oxygen can you burn anything without or in absence of now if i discuss about this thing okay what are the three pillars so first of all the combustible substance itself it is important if the substance is not there how and what is going to catch fire okay next Supporter is important. If supporter is not there, if oxygen is not there, how a substance will burn? Third thing, ignition temperature. So I was I was telling they try to remove any one of this. Okay. If we remove combustible substance, substance is not there. That means no burning. Okay. Second, oxygen is not there. Can you burn anything in absence? I'm talking about total absence. Okay. So can you burn anything in total absence of oxygen? No. Again there will be no fire, no combustion will take place. Now third one is ignition temperature that means it's important to reach at that particular temperature to catch fire. That means children this three things ok, these are the three important requirements. If you want combustion to take place, if you want the process of combustion Okay, uh, it's we all know it's very very important for us. So if you if you want the fire to lit, so what are the three things? These three things are the basic requirement which is very very essential. So just to just it out, we are studying about the conditions which are required for the combustion. Until unless these three conditions are fulfilled, a substance cannot undergo combustion. 
Now, uh, the third point which I am supposed to write is what? This one only. This is our C point. Like these are the three pillars. Okay. That means in absence of even one, we cannot have the process of combustion. Okay. Now, what can be the next point? The next point is every substance has their individual or their different okay or their own ignition temperature okay every substance every substance have their every substance have their own ignition temperature okay every substance have their own ignition temperature now see you have uh, you might be studying in one of the chapter of metals and non metals okay that is there in your syllabus there also you will study that there are certain metals which catches fire even if you keep it open okay even in the uh, smallest amount of moisture is present so what will happen the, the substance will start burning okay talk about the examples like sodium and phosphorus these are the one which has very low ignition temperature and for the sake of that you know to prevent these substances from fire okay it is it has to be kept it has to be protected from the certain you know I'll just give you an example of sodium if we want to protect the sodium from catching fire we need to keep it in the kerosene why sodium is kept in kerosene because ignition temperature of sodium is very low it catches fire it reacts with oxygen even if it is present in the uh, what like you know it catches fire what will happen and it will start burning okay so it has to to cut the supply of the moisture or to cut the supply of the oxygen what has to be done it has to kept in the kerosene now second in the same way when we talk about phosphorus phosphorus uh, what happens phosphorus also its ignition temperature is low and even it catches fire and so it is to be stored in the water now why one in water and why one in kerosene because the first one it even reacts with the uh, little amount of moisture which is present in the air so if the little amount of moisture is also present around it starts reacting okay so it reaches to the ignition temperature hmm? now so this is a D point every substance have their own ignition temperature that means every substance has their own temperature at what point they will start burning okay if we talk about petrol ignition temperature is very low if we talk about certain these kind of substances okay which kind of substances like say phosphorus so it is 35 degrees celsius just imagine okay just imagine i am talking about phosphorus first if you keep the phosphorus open okay it's very it's it, it's not like no in the summer days this can be the normal temperature so it will catch fire normally at the room temperature also and so to prevent it it has to be kept in the water now when we talk about petrol so its ignition temperature is 246 degree celsius okay when we talk about paper okay now so paper has different like you know different kind of paper has different not there is big difference but a bit different ignition temperature depending upon the quality of the paper okay so first of all phosphorus 35 degree celsius is the ignition temperature petrol is 246 degree celsius and when we talk about paper it can be from 218 okay 
218 to 240 degrees Celsius. I am not able to write here, but it can vary from 218 to 240 degrees Celsius depending upon the quality and the variety of the paper. So, these are the things which is required for a substance to attend before it starts burning, before it catches fire. Okay, so what are the things? Presence of that particular substance which burns or which will burn. Second, supporter of combustion that means O2 or oxygen. Third, ignition temperature and what is the meaning of ignition temperature? Like that lowest temperature at which the that particular substance will catch fire. Okay. Now, what more about ignition temperature? If the temperature is low, okay, if the ignition temperature is low, it is going to catch fire early. Okay. Then what is the next one? Every substance has their own ignition temperature. Say for example, white I should write over here, white phosphorus the ignition temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, petrol 240 degrees Celsius, 246 and paper 218 to 240 degrees Celsius depending upon the variety and the types of the paper and to have a look on this, to have a look on this, okay, what are the three pillars or three important conditions which is required, okay, three conditions are combustible, like I can draw it in this way because I have written fire in the center, this means to attain, attain I am so sorry, to attain this, okay, fire, we need to have these three, sub, these three requirements has to be fulfilled, okay. So, this was all about the conditions which is required for the combustion. Now, we will move to the next topic.